The condition of your tires has a big effect on your driving safety. If you're driving on worn tires, it's going to take you a longer distance to come to a stop and you're more likely to experience hydroplaning and poor handling when you're driving on snowy, wet, or icy road surfaces. And you're at far greater risk of having a dangerous blowout or a flat tire. And who needs any of that? So let's take a look at how you can make sure you're driving on safe tires. One major factor that can tell you how safe your tires are is how much tread depth there is left on them. Checking the tread depth of your tires is the best way to know when it's time to replace them. When new, your tires might have anywhere from 9 30 seconds to 12 30 seconds of an inch of tread on them. But as you put more miles on those tires, that tread wears down. But if they get down to 2 30 seconds of an inch, then they're considered legally bald and it's time to replace them. You can have a tire shop, an auto store, or a mechanic check the tread depth on your tires, or you can easily do it yourself. I'm going to check the tread depth on my front left tire. I turned my tire a little bit to the left as I was stopping. That way I could get to the tread a little easier and see it better. You'll need to get a tire tread depth gauge like this one. You can normally find them at any auto parts store, Walmart. This one came from Amazon and was only about $3. But a gauge like this will be the most accurate way to judge the tread depth of your tires. This one is marked in 1 seconds of an inch increments, and it's also marked in blue, yellow, and red zones. If your tread depth is anywhere in that blue zone, you're in the safe zone. If you're in the yellow, you're in the caution zone, and you should be thinking about replacing your tires pretty soon. But if your tread depth falls in the red zone, then your tires are legally bald and unsafe to be driving on. To use the gauge, you make sure this extension in the middle is pushed out a little ways. Then you find the shallowest groove on your tire, which is probably going to be in the middle. And you push the gauge down into the groove, down in the tread, until the edges of the bottom of the gauge stop you. That's going to give you your reading up at the top of the gauge. So let's see what that is for this tire. To get your reading, you look at the mark that's right above the silver barrel on this gauge. I see a little bit of yellow showing. That's the caution range. I can see the 5 mark, but right at the very edge here I can see the mark for 4 30 seconds of an inch. 2 30 seconds is the real danger point. That's close enough that I know I'm going to need new tires pretty soon. And you need to make that same check on all four of your tires. I found that all four of my tires had between 4 and 5 30 seconds of an inch of tread depth left. So they're all pretty evenly worn. So when I do get new tires, I'm going to need to get four of them. If you don't have a tire tread depth gauge, you should get one. But in the meantime, a fairly accurate tire tread depth gauge is a penny. Put the penny in the groove of the tire with Lincoln's head upside down. And if you can't see the top of Lincoln's head, then you're safe. If you can see the top of Lincoln's head, then your tires have 2 30 seconds of an inch of tread or less, and they need to be replaced right away. So a penny is a fairly accurate tire tread depth gauge and one that's easy to come by. So remember, if you see the top of Lincoln's head, you need new tread. Especially after you've had your tires for a while, you need to check your tread depth monthly. That'll give you a good picture of how your tires are wearing, how much tread you have left, and how close you're getting to that caution or danger zone. A quarter can help you out too. If you can just barely see the top of Washington's head, that means you have 4 30 seconds of an inch left. That lets you know you're getting close to needing new tires. If you have to buy new tires, historically the cheapest time has always been on a Black Friday sale. But if your tires need replaced, don't wait for Black Black Friday, the best time to buy tires is now. To increase the life of your tires and to prevent irregular tread wear, you should have your tires rotated. Tires should be rotated approximately every 5 to 8,000 miles, and that first rotation on a new set of tires is the most important. And wherever you bought your tires, they're also going to be able to rotate them for you, as well as any other tire shop or garage. And finally, there's one thing you should stop doing if you want to extend the life of your tires and that's dry steering. Dry steering is when you turn your tires when your vehicle isn't moving. In other words, you're grinding your tread on the pavement. And each time you do that, you wear a slight amount of tread off. And granted, it's very little tread that you're grinding off each time you do this. But if you can, in any given situation, try not to turn your steering wheel until your vehicle starts to move. I hope this gave you a better idea of how to make sure your tires are safe to drive on. Thanks for watching and have a great day.